because we all know what happened this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is going to do next. So you want to ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Because this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just got to figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but it does sound dangerous. This shit is all dangerous. Kenny, do not speak to me like that. Okay, okay, sorry. Sound draws walkers. There was this girl, Molly. She used bells to control where they moved. Yeah, that's right. She had them running all over Crawford. We just need something loud. Well, unless you've got a megaphone tucked in your pocket, it doesn't help us much now. I still vote we get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. Oh, come on. You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he talked to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? Look, Clem had it right. We just need something loud to get their attention. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. There are fuel on the roof. I saw the controls. They're in Carver's office. She's right. It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just got to get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Penny. Why can't we do both? Even if we bring the herd to us, it's probably good for Luke to be able to tell us where they're coming from. You know what? Fine. I can get behind that. Okay, so we get that turd radio. He keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. And that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually, I do it all the time. First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. Trust me, I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. You seem to know what you're talking about. This is nuts. Lee figured that out. What? It's how we got out of the Marsh House. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that, too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Where the hell did she come from? We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then, just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. Now or never, I guess. That's my girl. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. Don't let go. I got you. Try to hurry, all right? 
I don't think they're the sharpest guards in the world, but they're no idiots either. They see you not in your bunk, we're all done. Shit, he's coming back. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. We're in trouble. You're not gonna believe what I'm looking at. There's gotta be two or three thousand of them out there. In the parking lot? No, not in the parking lot. I can't see them all, but I see the dust they're kicking up. So you're not sure? What, about how many there are? Yeah. How can I be? Fuck. I hope they pass by us. God, yeah. You think we're ready this time? I don't know. Bill thinks we are. Of course he does, but he thought the same thing last time. We learned a lot since last time. Is it enough, though? We'll find out if they turn this way. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy about Reggie, huh? Yeah. You think Bill... Go on. Nah, it's just... I was wondering if you thought Bill maybe... Spit it out, Hank. I don't think Bill was gonna let him back in. Huh. You don't? No. Do you? I don't know. So really, no bullshit. You think we're ready? I think so. The homestead, at least. I'm not sure about the expansion. They're out there just moaning. That's what they do. It's driving me crazy. It's really unnerving. I know what you mean. You figure we'd be used to it by now. I wouldn't figure that. You never got used to a light buzzing or anything? A little different when it's dead human beings walking around? I'll give you that one. So what are you doing tomorrow? Bill wants me to start getting this bay door fixed. Is that why you're down there? Yep. What happened to it again? Troy backed into it when we brought the prisoners, the, the new people in. See, it's hard not to call them prisoners. Anyway, I'm looking at it now. I don't think we have what we need. Jesus, really? We repurposed a lot of shit to get this place built. I can't say for sure if we even had the materials before we started expanding. You can't be smoking back here. <gasps> Vince, come on. Don't give me that. If Bill smells a whiff of smoke back here, he'll flip. What are you thinking? You know what? I'm just gonna tell him. I'm not letting someone else get blamed for this. That's bullshit. Vince! Vince, come on! Vince!
You get him? Okay, jump down. I got you. We best get in bed. Troy will be back any minute. Well? Come on, Clem. Don't keep us waiting. You little devil. Everybody stay where you are. No need draw on suspicion. That was so cool. Thank you, Clem. I told you you probably wouldn't die. Nice job. I was pretty scared. Nothing wrong with being scared. It's how you handle it that matters. Anyway, get some rest. I thought about Duck today, about his dumb little face. First things that come to mind are always the dumb things he was doing. Kid was always running in circles. Every damn place he went, he'd just run. He couldn't stop him. Makes it harder to remember he was a good boy. Well, long day tomorrow. One long day. All right, we're all here. Someone's got to get the radio out to Luke. What's the problem? We should probably figure out who's doing what before we... Time to get up. Daylight's burning. They let you sleep in, all things considered. Where's my dad? He's where the rest of you are going. To work. Rebecca, Nick, Sarah, Jane. If you gotta take a piss, do it now. The next break won't be for a while. Troy will be coming up for the rest of you. Why just them? Like I said, Troy's coming for the rest of you. All right, look, if we're gonna do something, we have to do it now. And if Luke's all we got, and we pair up with him, I can do it. Where's the meeting? Mike. Yeah? Clementine should do it. Are you fucking kidding? No offense, but come on, that's crazy. She's a kid. Why would- There's a million reasons. She knows Luke. She can hide. She got the damn radio for us in the first place. Who cares? And I'm sorry, Mike, but I don't know you from fucking Adam, all right? And if I'm trusting someone to do something this important, I'm trusting her. Kenny's right. I should do it. Don't do something stupid just to get some respect. She doesn't need your respect. Give me the radio. All right, little chickens. Let's get to pecking. All right. I don't think today's going to be like yesterday. No way. No shenanigans. This rooster's going to be surveilling your ass every second of the day, you hear? Got that? I'm afraid I need an answer, girl. Yes, sir. Come on. Oh, you have your pockets all out. Gonna get your tags all snagged on something. Oh, let's go! Hey, she's with me? Oh shit, I almost forgot. Yeah. Well, take her then. I don't care. Wait, wait, what's going on? Never mind. Just chores of a different sort. Come on, city mouse. Can't you cut her a break? She'd really rather keep with us, people she knows. It's nothing that'll hurt her. Okay. It's okay. Come on. I 
I just wanted to make sure you were all right. I didn't believe you when you told me about Reggie. I ran and found Bill once I left you. Figured even if he had done it, he'd make up some sort of excuse, but Bill was just so matter-of-fact about it. Like he'd pulled up a weed or something, like it had to be done, and that was just one of those moments when your blood runs cold. Goose pimples up and down your arm. Cause it turns out the person you thought you knew was never there. You look anxious, Clementine. Something the matter? You know you can talk to me, right? I was dishonest when I first met you, but I swear on everything holy that'll never happen again. Bonnie, Luke's waiting for me to give this to him. He needs it. Clementine! And all I need from you is to just not care where I am for 15 minutes. If you get caught and you mention my name, Carver will be the least of your troubles, okay? Well, what are you waiting for? You should get going. Bill don't like idle hands. Y'all better hurry that shit up. I hate babysitting you assholes. Luke? Luke? It's me, Clementine. It's safe to come out. That looks really old. He's probably fine. Luke! Where is he? Was he sleeping here? Luke! If you're hiding, come out! I swear to Christ you're gonna regret this! I was... You ain't supposed to be out here! You people been here one fucking day and already you're fucking up! Well, you wait and see what happens. Move! Hey! Get over there. And how is it that we're repaid for our trust? With treachery? With deceit? With theft? They caught him! Yeah, that's what it looks like. Whatever you were planning is over. It's done. You can't just run from your problems. You can't just up and leave when it gets tough. Because there's nowhere else you can go where it ain't. Tough is all we got now. Get that through your fucking skulls. Luke here, he can't help you now. You gotta help yourselves. You gotta help me find the strength to forgive you. Now you can start. By telling me where the other one is. I'm gonna count to three. If that radio ain't in my hand by then, we'll have to make things more difficult. One. Two. I found it. It's right here. I got it. It's all right. Sorry about that. Not sure what I was thinking. Three. Fucker. No! Oh, God! 
<gasps> Jesus Christ! Stop! Stop <sighs> him! Somebody stop him! Troy, do Let something! Stop! Clementine, help you me! You have to do this, Bill! <sighs> no! Stop it! Kenny! <clears throat> Kenny! <clears throat> Little shit. <sighs> Bill! That's enough, Bill! Please! Bill, there's a breach! All right, everyone come with me. Bonnie, you stick around. Make sure these folks don't get into any more trouble. Yeah, okay. No supper for you all tonight. Maybe an empty stomach will give you some perspective. And we'll try this again tomorrow. Do your best with him, Carlos. You need to get him able to move, because we're leaving tonight. We're leaving tonight. Uh, ow. Dang it. What'd she say? She said she can get us out of the pen if we can get the PA system going. Second she hears it, she'll run over and spring us. That's great. It's not great. What are you talking about? Look, I know part of this is my fault. I, I, I know. I was hungry, I got reckless trying to steal some food, and I got caught. We can't stay here. Look, I hear what you're saying, but it's risky. It is pretty damn risky, guys. Risky? Did you see what that son of a bitch just did? Look, the plan works. Nothing needs to change. And it's all set up. The hard part is done. This guy's fucking crazy. Who knows what he'll do next? Yeah, but now we're dealing with a guy beat to shit, Sarita in no shape to do anything, and I'm a goddamn mess. Look, we should rest up. Okay, we should bide our time, and we should wait for an opening. Bonnie's agreeing to help us tonight. And that doesn't mean she can't do it some other night. I don't know, guys. Luke's making sense. Maybe we should wait. We're not waiting. Ain't nothing out there, guys. Trust me, I've looked. There's no food. There's no supplies. They picked everything clean. I'm just saying we gotta be sensible about this. Where's Kenny? Doc's over there working on him. And don't look good. <laughs> Is he gonna be okay? His orbital is crushed. I don't think there's much hope for the eye. I got him as stable as I could, cleaned it, got some of the swelling down, bandaged it as best I could. But until he wakes up, we won't know if there's any damage to the brain. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, look. Maybe I'm just playing devil's advocate here, but if... Damn it, if y'all are serious about going tonight, then we're gonna have to start talking about maybe leaving some folks behind. No! There is no other way. This is bullshit. Well, I don't like it either, but guess what? It's where we're at. Kenny and I are only here because of you people. And now you intend to leave us behind. So we should risk all of our lives? What are you saying? Nothing. I'm, I'm just thinking out loud here. No, we're not leaving Kenny. That's not fair. We stay together. Life ain't fair, Clem. We're just trying to make the best of a bad situation here. No one wants to leave Kenny. Good. Because he won't have to. I'm all right, hon. We leave tonight. Plan don't change. Not bad, old man. Thanks, asshole. You are one tough bastard. Do tough bastards get their ass kicked in front of everybody? You all right? That wasn't your fault, okay? It's all right. All right. Well, then what now? We get the hell out of here. Like now, now. 
Yes. Where are we going? In case things get squirrely and we gotta make a break for it, we need a place to meet up. We could meet out at Parker's Run. The hell is that? It's a Civil War site a few miles north. Tourist trap. Got signs all over. Just follow the road. We stopped there after we escaped the first time. Luke and Carlos know where it is. It's not that far. Well, at least if a few folks know where it's at, it'll be easier to find if we're split up. All right, that works. Then we just need someone to go set off that PA, right? I mean, you never bother to explain who's supposed to do that. Wait, wait, hold on. She's the plan? Why is it always me? Be sure to remember to flip the switch for the outdoor speakers. Just the indoor speakers might not draw the herd. It's right on the microphone box. Right. By default, it's set to play music. So you should just have to turn it on, right? Then climb back up and drop into the stock room. We'll meet you there. Down into the office. Outdoor speaker switch. Turn on PA. Up to the roof. Down into the stock room to meet you guys. That right? Perfect. Be careful. Okay. Only one bullet. Okay, now the mic. What? What's wrong? No, no, no! No, where are they? Come on, come on. Please work. This 4th of July, make sure your backyard barbecue is complete with Howe's full line of products to meet your grilling needs. You want to disrespect me? Fine. You want to throw away the life I'm trying to build for us all? Then fucking fine. You want to run off with this dog shit group of crippled fucks? Then fine. Be my guest. But I will put a bullet in you and that baby before I let you leave again with my child. It's not yours. You don't fucking know that. Get back. Come on, Luke. This ain't none of your business. This is just a bit of a custody battle we got on our hands here. Just shoot him. What? No, I just...
Go on and wait outside. We have to go. Kenny, please. I only need a minute. Go on. You don't need to see this. That girl's already seen more than you can imagine. Shut your mouth, Bill. You're all just gonna let him do this? Yes. There ain't one part of that son of a bitch I don't hate, but that does not make this right. I'm not going anywhere. It's gonna get messy. I know. Look at you, you fucking ingrates. I don't even know how good you got it. That's all right. You'll learn. Lambs to the slaughter. No shepherd to guide you. Clementine knows exactly what I'm talking about. Come on. No. I'm not letting you see this. It's not your decision. Atta girl. She ain't afraid to look it in the eye. You go with that feeling you got right now, Clementine. That's what makes you stronger than Come the rest on. of them. Let's go. Yeah, go on. Let the sheep out of the pen. We'll see how long that lasts. I'll be right there. You won't see anything. That's funny. Coming from you. How's that eye? Just follow my voice. It'll get you there. You got a thick fucking skull, Kenneth. Should've put you out of your misery right then. Now look at you. You're a mess. The fuck are you looking at, bitch? Don't act like you didn't love every second. Of it. Let's go. I'm, I'm all right. Come on. We got enough to worry about. Man, we're never gonna make it through this. You kidding me? If Clem can handle it, you can. Shit. I thought they were coming from the south. They did. Looks like we're in the eye of it now. Fuck. This is fucked. Here. You're gonna need something. Thanks. You guys better hurry up and get to smearing if you want to live. Or you can die here. It doesn't matter to me. Oh, God. Do it quick. We need to be covered before the rest of them get close or we're fucked. This isn't good. I'll go first. You're gonna put that on yourself? We have to, Sarah. Okay, now you. Turn around. Smells gross. Oh, shit. Everybody shut the fuck It'll be up. be okay, honey. Covered. Just stay still. Uh, are you sure? I'm sure. There's nothing to fear if you remain calm. I'll keep you safe. Hurry the fuck up. Turn around. I'll get your back. We ain't got all day here. Everybody ready? They're almost on us. What in the actual fuck is going on here? What is this sick shit? Someone say something before I start... Hey, hey, hey! Don't you even fucking think about it, motherfucker. I will end you, you hear me? Troy. 
Troy, we talked about this. What? The fuck you talking about? I told you I wanted to get out. You said you'd help, then I'd help. I thought you meant get out of the pen, not whatever the fuck this shit is. I did. But now we can leave. Troy, you can come with us. What? Well, where would we go? Away from here. Together. Man, you smell really bad. You gotta get a bath before we... <laughs> Come on. Don't make any noise, got it? They might hear something they don't like. And for fuck's sake, walk. Act like you belong, and you will belong. Get over here! I need more ammo! We got this, y'all. Is that Tate? Where's Bill? We need him up here! Stay calm. Shh. It'll be okay. Don't run. Need more ammo. Watch yourself. Shh. Quiet, honey. Clementine, come help me. Calm her down. Please, just say something. You're her friend. Clementine. Sarah's glasses. She's gonna get someone killed. If I had said I had the radio, Carver might not have been as... as vicious to... Don't ever think that, darling. No telling what that asswipe would have done to you. So how's it look? Am I still gonna be pretty when this heals? You need to get past that walker without drawing all the others. What are you gonna do? Not now. Not now, Dad. Damn it, where the fuck is Luke? They're all gonna die, Clementine. Don't let them pull you down with them. Thank you. 